Well, hi there! Welcome back to a new Minecraft High School. As always, if you enjoy this series, I hope you're able to hit that lovely like button. I do appreciate it, and as always, if you leave a like, I'm going to be able to do something. And if we leave enough likes this week, well then, guess what? I'm going to ask Maggie to marry me. Yeah, I'm going to ask her to marry me. And you guys can do that if you leave enough likes, so do so! Wait a minute. Wait, is that Dylan down there? What's he doing down there? Creep! All right, let's get into the episode. So the other night was great. Well, I mean, until, you know, Dylan showed up. I mean, why in the world was he snooping on me like that? Heck, I mean, why would he risk fighting me knowing if he does that? I mean, he could get expelled. Wait, does, does he want to get expelled? Hmm. Oh, man. Oh, that gummit, I don't want to be awake. All this stinking running at school's got me exhausted. It's like not enough sleep. It's just never enough sleep. Hopefully this weekend I can get whatever the amount of sleep I need to get, I can get. Okay. It's Friday, though. T-G-I-F. Thank God it's Friday. Oh, not to mention, that means I'm going to be able to hang out with the boys after school today. Heck yes, go on fishing. That'll be a lot of fun. Not to mention, this Saturday I get to hang out with Maggie at the movies again. <laughs> awesome. Maybe I can get that kiss in. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our stuff, get our books. No, put those right there, and then I'll have my schedule. Yeah, I'm going to still need my schedule. Ah, the papers. Man, I don't need them. Okay. It's Friday. We only got to run one more day this week. And then, you know, you have to run on Monday. And then every other Monday through Friday. <laughs> but hopefully, eventually, you'll get to a point when you're working out and doing all this running at gym that you'll be able to take care of yourself and you won't be so exhausted from running. I just... Ugh, I got to get to that point, and it's taking forever. <sighs> all right, let's go get some breakfast. Hey, Mom? Mom? Oh, where the heck's Mom? Mom? You in here? Huh. Oh, well. Now I'll just go ahead and eat breakfast, and I'll go find her in a minute. Oh, as always, I'm glad to have a nice, warm breakfast cooked for me every morning. Oh, yes. God, these crescent rolls are flaky as heck. They're incredible. All right, calm down. It's, oh, no, no, no. It's just when you exercise and you work as hard as you do when I've been at P.E., I don't know. Food just tastes better. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's get up uh, stairs and try to find Mom. Oh, I see Dad got his aquarium. Very nice, very nice. All right. Mom? Mom? Hmm. Maybe she's up in her bedroom. Mom, you up here? Mom? Uh, Dad? Huh. Where the heck are they? Neither of them are here. Well, I mean, I know Dad's at work, but where the heck's Mom? Oh, uh, well, hate it for Austin, but... Gonna have to wake his butt up, so I'm sure he'll enjoy this, but I gotta know where Mom is. All right, here goes. Um, hey, um, Austin, you awake? Uh, well, I am now. Uh, come in. <laughs> All right. Hey, sorry to wake you, buddy. I know you don't have to be awake for another hour, but um, do you have any idea where Mom went off to? If you didn't spend every waking moment with Maggie... Then you would know Mom has a job interview today. Well, somebody's in an awfully guampy mood today, aren't they? It's not even morning for me. I still have 55 minutes. You better set your alarm so you don't, you know, oversleep because Mommy's not going to be here to wake you up. Oh, yeah, that's right. I know that Mom still wakes you up. I set an alarm, stupid. Now go away. <laughs> All right. Sorry to have disturbed you. Apology not accepted. Yeah, yeah. All right. Night, night, buddy. <laughs> oh, All right. Let's go ahead and get off to school. Good for mom. Good for mom. She's got a job interview. I know she's been really hoping to find something, and it only took her a few months to find something, so GG to her. All right. Let's get going to school. Man, 
I know these walks to school really stink, but I mean, in the long run, like Coach Shaw said, if I, you know, exercise every now and again, then, you know, those two miles will be a breeze. I just need to get to a point where I'm not making bad grades from running as, you know, dead last. It's, you know, it, it would be different if I was, you know, not completely dead last. If I at least finished with whoever was the next in line, but they're still finishing like five minutes ahead of me. Ugh, I really do need to get in shape. I mean, I want to look good. I want to look good for Maggie. I don't want her to have a, a fat boyfriend unless she wants me to be fat. And I mean, like my grandfather always says, skinny may be in, but fat's where it's at. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, God, I am still so stinking sore, though. Oh, it's ridiculous. I'm probably going to have to get an Advil or something from the, the office today, so that'll be a joy. All right. Almost to school. Just got to hop the parking lot, and then we'll be there. <laughs> oh, God. It's Dylan. All right, so what do we do? Just, just pretend he doesn't exist. All right, just walk right past him. Oh no, not this time, Bert. You aren't going to pretend that I don't exist. Dylan, seriously, just just stop. You mind your business and I'll just mind mine. Haven't we agreed on this like twice now? You may be able to pretend I don't exist, but I'm not able to do that when I see you. And why not, Dylan? Is it because your scummy friends didn't get to go here anymore? Get over it, Dylan. This is school. You know, school? Yeah, it's that place you go to learn. And that's it. If you don't like it here, then just leave. Why should I have to leave? You left first. Why couldn't you have just stayed away? Because I love my family, Dylan. Simple as that. <laughs> what a loser. So what are you, a mama's boy? Does she still pack you a lunch too? Dylan, just <sighs> stop. It isn't going to work. Also, I moved home to be with my dad and brother. I already lived with my mother. Oh, <laughs> so you missed your daddy then. Dylan, I just told you it isn't going to work. You're not getting under my skin. And I'm not going to fight you. Why not? You afraid I'm going to kick your butt? All right, Dylan, this is, this is just stupid. I, I'm done here. Don't you turn your back on me. Uh, really, Dylan? What is your issue? I mean, do you want to get expelled or something? Did you not hear Principal Murdoch earlier this week? If you keep it up, you'll be expelled. I don't care. And why should I? My grades are already down and it's only the first week. Also, I have nobody because you and your mother took all the people I cared about away. They were bad people, Dylan. But you don't have to be. No, you don't get to say what they were. They were my friends. And I should bash your face in for saying that about them. <clears throat> Mr. Terry, if my ears do not deceive me, it sounds as if you just threatened Mr. Burt here. Well, Coach, I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play games with me, Mr. Dillon. I heard and saw the whole thing. I could have stopped you after you pushed Mr. Burt here, but I wanted to see how irresponsible you were willing to go. Whatever, Coach. Like I care. Get to the office now, Dillon. I'll deal with you in a moment. Whatever. <sighs> I hate this place. Okay, Mr. Burt, go ahead and get to your class. Just a forewarning, though. You may be called to the office later today. Just letting you know. Um, thank you. Thank you, Coach. Have a good day, Mr. Burt. Thanks. Oh, jeez. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. It's just like, what the heck is his issue? I don't want to be anybody's enemy. But it's like, Dylan, all he wants to do and all he wants to continue to do is just have an enemy with me. I mean, I get that what my mom did made him lose friends, but in the end of it, I mean, it was honestly for the best for him, but <laughs> apparently it wasn't the best for me because he makes me his mortal enemy. <sighs> Dylan, when are you going to learn that I'm not your stinking enemy?